Here's our next example of how to work with chemical equations. Here we're looking to find the number of grams of the product hydrogen gas we end up with when we start with 82.4 grams of the reactant iron. Now what we're doing here is we're taking solid iron and we're adding steam to that with elevated temperature and we'll turn that into a very interesting compound of iron oxygen which is called ferric, ferrous ferric oxide which is also known as magnetite and hydrogen gas. Of course the equation is not yet balanced but we end up with we have 82.4 grams of iron and we want to know the number of grams of hydrogen gas we end up with. So that's going to become a three-step process. We're given the mass of the reactants, we need to convert to the mass of the reactants, I mean the number of moles of the reactants, then we need to convert to the number of moles of the products and then reconvert to the mass of the products. So three steps we have to follow before we can do that we of course need to balance this equation. Now notice that we have one mole of iron here and we have three moles of iron here so notice that we have to have a three to one ratio so three of these will form one of those. Notice that we have hydrogen gas we have H2 here and we have H2 there so hydrogen is, uh, is uh, balance but oxygen is not. We have one oxygen here and we have four of them there so we need four times as much oxygen as we have and so we need four times one gives me one times four so now oxygen is balanced but of course now hydrogen is no longer balanced because now we have eight hydrogens here and only two there so we need four of them over there so now hydrogen is balanced oxygen is balanced and iron is balanced and so we're good to go. So first step we're going to convert the number of grams of iron to the number of moles of iron. So step one, number of moles of iron is going to equal to the number of grams that we started with, which is 82.4 grams of iron, multiplied times the moles per gram. So we have one mole of iron divided by, now we have to know of course how many grams a mole of iron is and I have it written down nice handy over here, we can get that out of the periodic table so we have 55 grams of iron and so we have one mole per 55 grams the grams of iron cancel out, we're left with moles of iron so 82.4 divided by 55 is 82.4 divided by 55 uh, we should say 55.85, might as well make it a little bit more accurate. How about 55.85? So divide by 55.85 equals, and we get uh, 1.475 moles. All right, so that is, of course, of the iron in as our reactant. Okay, secondly, we now want to convert from moles of iron to moles of hydrogen gas, because we want to we want to find out the number of grams of hydrogen gas. So the number of moles of hydrogen gas is equal to the number of moles of iron, which is 1.475 moles of iron, multiplied times the ratio of the number of moles of iron to the number of moles of hydrogen. So uh, moles of hydrogen and we need to have moles of iron at the bottom. All right, so what's the ratio? Well, we can see that for three moles of iron, we produce four moles of hydrogen. That's our ratio. So for three moles of iron, we produce four moles of hydrogen. Notice the moles of iron cancel out. We're left with moles of hydrogen. And all we have to do is multiply 1.475 times four divided by three equals. And so we're left with 1.967 moles of hydrogen gas. Now we need to convert that back to the number of grams of hydrogen gas, so that's step number three. So number of grams of hydrogen gas is equal to the number of moles, so 1.967 moles of hydrogen gas times the ratio of the number of grams per mole. So that would be grams of hydrogen gas divided by moles of hydrogen gas and notice that the moles of hydrogen gas will disappear and we end up with grams of hydrogen gas and what's the ratio? One mole is, of course notice that for each mole of hydrogen there's two hydrogen atoms each hydrogen atom is 
2.008 grams. So when we double that, we get 2.016 grams of hydrogen gas for every mole of hydrogen gas. So multiply this number times 2.016 equals, and we get 3.966 grams of hydrogen gas in our final product through this reaction. So if we start off with 82.4 grams of iron, we'll end up with 3.966 grams of hydrogen gas. And that's how you do that problem.